But, but Maria, if, if you can sow some seed of doubt in the jury's mind as to exactly what happened, and here we have Roy Cronk going into the woods to relieve himself while he's, while he's on a meter reading uh, circuit. On August the 11th, he sees something that he thinks could be a skull and then comes back on December the 11th and finds the body. There's a big space of time in there. If you can sow even the, the smallest seeds of doubt in the jury's mind, do they not convict on a capital murder case? John, you're absolutely right. That's all they have to show is, is in, get a little bit of reasonable doubt in one of the jurors' mind, just one. And you can say what you want about the defense's advocacy and Jose Bias and whether or not he's experienced, but he has done a fantastic job of putting these suggestions and these inferences into the jurors' minds without even direct, without having and putting on direct evidence of his theory. So in that respect, he's doing a good job. And again, he only has to have one person to either hang the jury or to convince the others that it's not a first-degree murder. And, and, and Anita,